Texas doctor who says he performed abortion sued in first known challenges under new law one lawsuit was filed Monday by Oscar Stilley, a former tax attorney in Arkansas who is serving a home confinement sentence for a federal conviction on tax crimes. He filed the lawsuit against the physician, Dr. Alan Braid, in Bexar County. Related, Texas doctor says he violated the state's strict new abortion law, I am a supporter of the Constitution, and I am opposed to the law, Stilly said. A second lawsuit has been filed against Braid by Felipe N. Gomez, an Illinois resident who describes himself as a pro-choice plaintiff in the suit. The lawsuits open up a new front in the legal war around the six-week abortion ban, which went into effect on September 1. Dr. Braid has been providing health care, reproductive health care, to women for almost five decades, and he's used to being able to give his patients options, and with the Texas law in place, he is having to turn most of his patients away. The options that he has for them are untenable, Northup said. Abortion rights advocates have so far failed to get a federal court to block the law, as the ban's supporters designed it with the goal of evading judicial review. Rather than task government officials with enforcing the ban, via criminal or regulatory punishments, the Texas state legislature essentially deputized private citizens with the ability to bring private civil litigation in state courts against abortion providers or anyone else who facilitates an abortion that violates the law. SB 8 says that any person can sue over a violation, and we are starting to see that happen, including by out-of-state claimants Mark Heron senior counsel for the Center for Reproductive Rights, said Monday in a statement. The anti-abortion activists who championed the new ban have touted the chilling effect it immediately had, as many abortion providers in the state have publicly said that they were complying with the law for now. Under the Texas law, clinics that are found, in private state court enforcement actions, to be in violation of the ban are on the hook for at least $10,000 in damages. But John Sego, who heads Texas Right to Life, emphasized that neither case was filed from the pro-life movement. Both cases are self-serving legal stunts, abusing the cause of action created in the Texas Heartbeat Act for their own purposes Sego said in a statement. These two lawsuits may face procedural hurdles because they have been filed by individuals who do not support the law. The judge will have to sort that out Gladeck said. Stilly's lawsuit was first reported by the Washington Post. Stilly, who was charged with several federal tax crimes in 2009 and was later convicted, said he was serving as his own lawyer in the case. This story has been updated with additional details and further developments. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe.